Ask Reddit. Why is adults of Reddit? What should teenagers start doing? Think for yourself. Don't voice an opinion, because you think your friends will agree. If you look at Reddit, you can see a lot of groupthink. Many people are too lazy to actually think. It's easier to just repeat other people's words. Learn about some things that they don't teach you in school. It could be a blue collar skill. It could be learning about a place that interests you. How to create an iOS app. Cooking. Whatever. Curiosity is generally a helpful trait in life. Learn to have fun without getting ducked up all the time. Seriously. You don't want to get to the point where you realize the only thing you have in common with friends is drinking or drugs. Staying rational in the face of emotion is a very difficult thing to do, and it is going to take a long time to learn how to do it well. The sooner you start working on this, the better. Yep. Staying calm in a heated debate where your opponent is trying to get under your skin isn't the only application. Staying calm under pressure will help in emergencies of all sorts as well. Might even save your life. Flossing. Dental pain is the worst pain. Finish high school FFS it's free. Even if it means doing a JED, alternate school, online, whatever, finish that shit. Yes, there are people who become successful without it. These people are the exception, not the rule, and would likely have been successful anyways. Travel. Leave your country at least once. Even if it's only for 3 days, to find out you hate traveling, you're so is banging the tour guide, you ran out of money, and have to hitchhike back to the airport. It will at least give you some perspective on about how other parts of the world can be both vastly different than you, yet strikingly similar. Master your social skills. Someone that deals with other people extremely well gets paid a lot more, has more successful relationships, more friends that will do anything for you, and your relationship with your kids will be much better which means that they will grow up to be much healthier and happier people. Plus you'll get laid a lot. Dude everyone knows this. But how? How the duck do you do this? Just go. Pick a social event where chats with strangers are reasonably expected and go. Now chat. No one chatting with you? Pick someone wearing or using something you like and go start talking to them about it. Feel weird. Tough shit. Keep doing it. If it's not working with the first one, move on. Talk to folks till it doesn't feel weird anymore. Start conversations with strangers until it just feels like something you do. From there refine your techniques and acquire charm. I'm an introvert, but I damn sure know how to talk to anyone. I'll even talk on a podium in front of hundreds, if I have to. If my nerdy, loner ass can do it, so can you. Just have some fun. Sure, you could take classes at a junior college and skip way ahead in school, while working two jobs and mowing lawns on the weekend, but summer vacation isn't something easy to come by as an adult so fuck it, spend a summer playing Counter-Strike or riding your bike. Chill out a bit. Enjoy the years where your body is kind of invincible, staying up all night is easy, and where you have friends who are just as energetic and bored as you are. Enjoy your breaks and be silly. No, high school and college aren't the best parts of your life. I'm about to turn 27, and I've enjoyed post-college life way more than any time during school. However, there's something special about those times when you're just a dumb kid doing dumb kid shit. Go do some dumb shit. Learn and get a book on a subject you're interested in and start reading. Find resources online and study that. You'd be surprised how easy it is to learn something new. And from my experience people are happier for it. One of my mentee didn't get into this field until he was in his late 20s. I asked what he was doing the initial 8 years after HS. And he told me that he worked when he had to but learned when he could. Spent the last 4 years self-studying philosophy, natural science, literature, language, English and Russian, political science, economics. He did some traveling and learned different things from different cultures that he applies to his life. The kid is super happy all the time. He values life and is always fun to be around. Not to mention, has a lot of book smarts for a guy whose only college experience was attending trade school. He's a better worker and person because of all of his self-study. 
Go outside and have adventures. No one can ever take experiences away from you. And you'll have plenty of years of being too busy and otherwise committed to do what you can do now with your freedom. Cooking. I'm always so surprised when people don't know how to make basic foods. I once had someone tell me that they had never made or eaten a cake made from scratch or boiled an egg and I think he was around 20 at the time. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, 10 kilometers running every single day. More interpersonal communication. It's the best way to develop your instincts in reading people. Took me decades to realize that people skills top everything even in areas where you'd expect knowledge and experience to be rated higher. Take care of yourself. Eat well take vitamins get a gym membership and work out. Also meet as many good people as you can loose the bad ones. Get a good connection for some chronic nugs. Reading. Lots of reading. Instead of saying the generic things like saving and investing, I would learn as much about finance as possible. Learn what you are actually buying when you buy stocks, bonds, options or other investment vehicles. Learn about how interest rates and loans work. If being wealthy is one thing you aspire to be, these things are a must. The rich aren't rich because they are stupid and lazy. Learn how to get tasks out of the way early. Procrastination can literally eat away at your future possibilities. Even if it's something as simple as just getting your laundry done, at least you don't have to worry about it when it's time to get dressed in the morning. There have been so many times I wished I had just done the thing already, whatever it may be, or at least got it started, that it's not even funny. Taking responsibility for their lives and not blaming the system, parents, government etc. There is no perfect country, no perfect parents, no perfect system. We are all limited by some difficulties to a greater or lesser extent. No generation ever in history had it any better, and some had it much worse, only difficulties were different. So instead of waiting for some sort of social utopia teenagers simply have to deal with what they have. Party as hard as possible, while you're still young. Ask your grandparents to buy you lunch. They love buying you lunch. Call your grandparents when you're in college. They might not be around to see you graduate. Learn how to make themselves do what they don't want to. Chores, homework, washing dishes, exercising, etc. When you get out of school, you no longer have deadlines to follow. When you move out of your parents' home, they are no longer around to tell you what you should do instead of what you want to do. And if you can't do this yourself, or learn how to do this yourself, you are setting yourself up for a win. That adults aren't always that wise compared to kids. 